Hey guys, thanks for coming this morning. Uh, we're very, very excited to be here at the Axel Nobel Sickens booth unveiling a very special project. We've been working on this for a couple of years. Uh, we actually started it uh, right around COVID, so things were a little bit slow getting going, but well worth it. We had a lot of time to plan and really build what Kevin Hart wanted to be the ultimate Mopar. Now he's got a lot of other cars he's had built by some really great builders. Um, I think this will rival anything that he's had built. I'm a little bit, uh, you know, selfish in, in deciding that as a quote, but let's get started with this. As you're in this major metropolitan area, think of a superhero movie, right? You have superheroes and you have villains. And if you've been paying attention to any of Kevin Hart's car collection and the builds he's been having done, he's definitely got something about villains. You've also seen uh, his car built called uh, uh, Michael Myers, Michael Myers. He's had, has a lot of other cars. These are all themed after villains. One of the greatest villains ever in Batman movies, Bane. So that was our challenge. Build something that represented Bane for Kevin Hart. So fast forward, put your capes down, and get ready. I'm going to show you all of the marvelous, super evil powers that Bane has to offer. This was a wonderful project to be able to create something, and of course, what better to start with than an evil platform from the Roadster Shop in, in the way of an independent fast track chassis. Also, all of the evilness gets poured out onto the streets due to the Heliphant. A thousand horsepower, a thousand foot pounds torque, all aluminum hemi. Uh, this thing's badass. The black paint on this is called Black Ice. It's part of my modern classic collection. The deepest, darkest black you can get. And of course, the interior has a lot of things to offer as well, done in chili red by JS Custom Interior. This has also got a lot of really cool technology. We've actually printed the entire dash center console, a lot of the components from the door panels, rear quarter panels, and the back section of the interior. Uh, under the hood, you'll also see a lot of things that have actually been done in 3D print, including the cover for the supercharger and also the valve covers. Thousands and thousands of hours were done in metal shaping. What you see here still looks like a, a 70 Challenger, but there's so many small tricks. The front lead of two inches of the front fender's hood and everything else is all fabricated. The chin, the spoiler on the front, and also the roll pan on the back and the last two inches of the rear of the car. This is all hand fabricated back into the steel body. We've actually replaced the roof, the quarters, the doors, the front fender. Okay, everything but the door jams and the front cow. Everything got changed. We've also flush mounted all of the windows, the glass, and of course the smooth door handles from the Condiga Design. These are smooth, uh, paintable flush bars. Um, the wheels, these were designed by me, and if you really get a chance to look at the car, there's a lot of details you'll miss until you get back around the car for the fourth time. <clears throat> As you know, the Pentagon is the Chrysler emblem. If you're looking at the honeycomb styled uh, grill, that is not honeycomb, those are actually pentagons. So the Chrysler is represented both upper and lower grills as well as the tail light panel. If you look a little bit closer to the wheels that I designed that were built by Evod, actually have the same thing. They are five sided, not six, not four. So all of the spokes have a really beautiful design. And again, it's that element that brings it all back into the same theme and makes it evil. So I hope you guys all enjoy this car in the SEMA show for 2023. And thanks so much for coming here to Sickens Axe on the Bell Modern Classic. We're so excited to have all you guys here. It's going to be a great show, so enjoy. And now we'll pop the hood.